Hey guys, today's video is a quick tutorial on how to proof a stay with the distraction of food using positive reinforcement. You can work on this exercise with your dog in any position, but I suggest choosing your dog's strongest position first to teach the concept of this game before working on positions that you haven't done as much training with. So for example, with Halo, he's worked a lot on a down, but not on a stand. So first I'm gonna teach him the concept of this game with the down and then the sit and then the stand. Ask your dog to get into the position, halo down, good job, and then hold a treat out like this further away from the dog and click as you hold the treat out for the dog staying. Good job. If the dog gets up at any point, you can lure the dog back into the down, don't give him the treat, but click as you move your hand away and then give him the treat so the dog is learning that when your hand moves away from him, it means to stay in the position. Are you ready? Once your dog is successful at you holding the treat out like this and staying down, you can start to move your hand down to the ground with the treat in it like that. You might not want to go all the way down to the ground at first, so you can wave your hand up and down like this at first. Awesome. When your dog is successful with you touching the treat down to the ground before giving it to him, you can then place the treat down on the ground briefly before picking it up and giving it to your dog. Awesome. Good job. Good job. Good job. If your dog is successful with this, you can move on to the next step of leaving the treat there and moving your hand away. Now if the dog goes to get the treat, just quickly pick it up, lure your dog back into the down, move your hand away, click and treat, and then make it a little bit easier so you're just putting the treat there and picking it up again. Good job. Good. The next step is putting the treats down and then seeing if your dog can give you eye contact instead of staring at the distraction. Good job! If your dog doesn't think to look up at you, you can make a kissy noise or a little blowing noise and click when your dog looks in your direction. Good boy! It's very tempting, I know. Good job. Awesome. Halo free! Then you want to make sure to release your dog from the stay click and treat your dog for getting up. Some dogs, after you've worked on a lot of distractions, they'll be reluctant to get up when you ask them to, but it's really important to keep the release cue very strong uh, so that they understand that they're only getting up on the release cue. And so when you release your dog up, halo free, you wanna make sure that the dog gets up. So you might wanna back up and pat your legs to get that dog to get up within two to three seconds of you saying the release cue and his is the cue free. Now I'm gonna play the same game while I'm standing up, but because the picture has changed, I'm gonna go back a step and go back to asking the dog to down and then holding the tree out, treat out like this. Good job. And then putting it down on the ground. Good job. Good. And then dropping it. Good job. And now I'm gonna try standing up Awesome. First you click as you throw the treat, and then when your dog gets better, you can throw multiple treats before clicking. That one was hard, because it looked like it was gonna go right for him. I don't suggest with this game that you put the treat down and then tell your dog, get it, because what can happen is the dog can start to anticipate that the treat being down on the floor is going to predict that you're gonna cue him to get it, and then you can cause a little bit of frustration and anxiety if your dog is in an environment where he thinks he's gonna be released to something and it's just not gonna happen. So I suggest with this game, when the distractions happen, that you then bring whatever it is to the dog or you reinforce with what you have rather than it always being a release to whatever it is in the environment. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. See you later, guys. 
Can you do both? Pause. Good job, guys.